Why do people eat tomatoes? That's a legitimate question. Every time I buy a tomato in the store, it's sour. And within a day, it turns into some jelly-like substance from another planet. I don't know why humans ever ate them. But I have discovered an edible variety. It's called the Cherokee Purple. Now, the Cherokee Purple is an heirloom plant, or heirloom, if you pronounce it as it's spelled. An heirloom plant, as I understand it, and what I call it is an antique. It's something that's outdated. They don't produce it or sell it in the market anymore. The reason is they are difficult to grow in quantity, and they're really ugly. Who would want to buy that? I would. And I'll show you and tell you why. Now, first of all, there's a little history behind tomatoes. If you didn't know, they were actually discovered in South America. And the native plants, or the actual first plants, were more like the little cherry tomatoes, you know? And of course, with human intervention, they began to develop bigger and better varieties. Unfortunately for this one, it doesn't sell, but it does taste really good. And if you want one, you almost have to grow them yourself. Now, before I get into the nuts and bolts of how to eat this thing, maybe I should show you where I acquired it. So let's reverse the tape and go back out to the plant where I just picked the tomato. These are my tomato plants. On the right, that one is a yellow cherry tomato plant. In the middle, that one's called Boxcar Willie. And right here is the Cherokee purple tomato plant. All of these are heirlooms. This one had about five ripe tomatoes so far, and I'm down to the last one. So I'm going to pull out this last remaining one. See how it tastes. Doesn't look so purple there, but when you cut it open, it really makes a difference. And you can see all this nastiness on the top. I guess that's why these things aren't sold in stores, because they just don't look good. But boy, do they ever taste good. First, I take that part off. Whoa, good. And then I cut it fairly thin. Mostly because there's not a lot of these to go around. And you always find at the very top where the stem is, they're always green or yellow like this, and they're difficult to eat there because they're pretty tough. But you can still cut a chunk off and use it for a salad or something. Still not too bad. All right, from this point on, I like to eat it on toast and butter with some sea salt, maybe even some pepper. I'll have to prepare that. Whole wheat toast. 
The stuff my mom always made me eat. Plenty of sawdust mixed in here. Good for you. One tomato slice, carefully centered on the toast. Salt from the Dead Sea. Freshly ground pepper from a pepper mill. We're ready. That's the sweetest tomato I've ever tasted. Now you don't think of tomatoes as sweet, as they're always sour in the store. But if you've ever had a sweet one, you'll never want to buy one out of the store again. This is the way tomatoes were meant to be.